Talk about curb appeal. In Las Vegas, Nevada, bold is beautiful, and local artisan Tony Malici's glass sculptured doors are just that, bold and beautiful. Glass is considered the glamour medium. It has a lot of qualities as far as light reaction, and refraction, and reflection. Layered glass creates the look of movement in Tony's custom-made doors. He's only one of a handful of people in the world doing this type of work, and plenty of high rollers have taken notice and ordered up these unique pieces for themselves. Well, the door is really a, the first statement that you see in a home. They're one-of-a-kind doors, pieces of art. Tony's love of art has been a lifelong passion. I've been creating sculptures and doors since 1987, and I've been creating artwork since you know, I was in second grade. Early on, I was able to draw really well, and it was even a case where I took a picture into school and everybody thought I traced it. Eventually, his drawing turned into a full-time career, with glass becoming the main medium of his work. And you can say this Las Vegas native has hit the jackpot. His work is on display at City Hall and the Las Vegas airport. His client list includes Bill Gates. Tony's uncommon pieces get plenty of positive attention, and his artistic vision remains crystal clear. I try to create pieces that are unique, that have passion and beautiful form. To start a piece, you just draw something like this? This piece uh, started with a concept drawing. I was trying to create a feminine feel of uh -huh. a, a woman's figure, more or less. The curved lines from this drawing then comes to life on the glass. By the way, Tony is freehanding these shapes. He uses low lead glass because of its clarity. Then Tony scores it with a running tool that has a carbide head. A hand clamp applies pressure to the glass so it separates evenly. There we go. Look there at it that. Didn't even break. Didn't even break. It's amazing. Well, it broke, but it broke, broke. perfectly. <laughs> And how many pieces are we working with here? 120 pieces will go into the one side and then another 120 pieces on the other side. What's the weight of something like that? Let's just say for one door. Uh, one door is probably about 350 pounds. And you lift that all by yourself? No. <laughs> I could, but I'd be <laughs> bent over for days after. Now it's my turn to work with Tony's tool of the trade. Good. Get in the middle. <laughs> Go on top of your score and run it. Just press a little bit, not too much. Watch it run a little. Okay, now go. Okay. Now go the other side. Nice. Wow. Wow, very good. Using hand cutters, Tony sculpts the newly cut glass into a rough edge. So I'm basically trying to whittle the glass. There's a sharp edge that you can grab, and there's an edge that's kind of flared down, but you want to be able to catch it and pull it apart. Why do you want the edges rough? It refracts the light, so when the light comes through here, it'll break up the light, refract it in a whole bunch of different ways, so you get a real texture to the door. So you do this by hand with 120 of these? Times two. Each piece has two sides. Times two. <laughs> now just kind of grab it. Okay. Whittle. I'm afraid. Keep going. This is not easy. OK, this might be one of the toughest things that I've ever done on this show. Next, the edges are smooth so they can be handled without cutting anyone. A mini grinder is used for smaller pieces. Once the edges are smooth, it's time for laminating. An adhesive glue is applied to the glass. We're just gluing. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Well, if you get it out of alignment and it doesn't feel right, because I feel the sculptures, I actually don't, it's just not a visual thing. And if you can feel it, you'll be able to see it. And if you see it, then it looks like your eye's drawn to it and it'll look like a mistake. With the glue in all the right places, the glass is stacked. It's a very critical stage because all that time and effort can be for naught if you don't get it right. I see the form, it's like there's movement now. Finally, the stacked glass is cured with an ultraviolet light, which hardens the glue. So we've done a lot to accomplish what we have for this little piece of glass. Can you imagine doing this for a big door? 120 pieces. Now, no one in their right mind would take a beautiful door like this and just stick an ordinary handle on it. What is this, uh, by the way? It's a door handle. This is a door handle? That's right. Wow.
In Las Vegas, Nevada, Tony Malici is a sculptor and artist whose layered glass doors grace the homes of celebrities and high-end clients. He's already shown me how he cuts and laminates the sculpted glass. Remember, there's 120 pieces in each door, all laminated together. Before he can set them into the door frame, Tony lines the door stop with glazing tape. Well, the glazing tape keeps the weather out. The adhesive is really, really strong. The laminated pieces are laid on a stop on the inside of the frame, which keeps the glass from falling forward. Then, a second stop is screwed in behind the glass to keep it from falling backwards. And that's kind of how they go in. On average, a set of doors take about eight weeks to make, and then when they're done, they're rock solid, strong, and stunning. Tony's handles are as unique as the doors they open. I think of glass and I think, oh, it's really fragile, so I don't know if I'd want a door made of it. Well, in certain stages, as we're building it, it's fragile along the way, and, and once we laminate it, it's very, very strong. The laminations are probably almost 10 times the strength of the actual glass in some cases, so oh, wow. I could probably stand on that door handle. The lamination is so strong. The handle starts with glass circles. A bunch of these stacked onto each other are going to look like this eventually, after a lot of work. <laughs> It's a circle cutter. We have it set up to where we score it. We'll cut a couple of them real quick. Now, I like that. So I'll score it again like this, like this, like this. And we'll take running tools. There's a piece. Once the circles are cut, Tony sculpts the edges with his hand cutters so that they will better reflect the light once they're installed. Now we're gonna show you how we turn this guy into this guy. On the large diamond saw, Tony cuts the material down to a more manageable size. This is what Tony calls furnace glass. It's glass that has been heated and then cooled and broken into chunks. So I mark it, then I see what I need to take off. Then on a diamond disc, he grinds the glass to a smooth surface. These are all industrial diamonds on here. Diamond really cuts glass well. What does the water do? It keeps it cool. The glass is ground on five different diamond discs, each time getting just a little bit smoother. Boy, it takes a lot of work to take just that out. How many more hours will it take me to go from here to here? Three hours. For me or for you? For me. Uh, add 10. <laughs> Tony's doors run from seven to fifty thousand dollars depending on the detail but for Tony it's not about the bottom line you know I don't look at it as work I look at it as a passion they're all pieces of art to me my heart and passion goes into every single one of them what a great example of someone taking a really old material like glass and turning it into something really useful sometimes I see things on the show and I think to myself Huh, maybe I should try that at home. Well, not this time. Even after seeing what they do, I'm still amazed that they can actually do it. They're getting, uh, I would say better, but not I think I, I just got worse. Oh, oh. 